Hi, hi everyone, my name is Edu and today we're visiting this place called Havana Cinco Rooftop. Uh, Havana Cinco Rooftop is the rooftop of Havana 5, which is uh, this new hotel, like it's, it's private hotel, so even if you're an American, you can come to these kind of places in Cuba. But then they have this rooftop where they give, uh, uh, where they serve food and uh, drinks. It's, so it opens uh, till very late, like 1 or 2 a.m., and it's one of the little places in all Havana who does this. Uh, talking about the place, well, the place is beautiful. Uh, it's very high. It's like a fourth uh, floor, plus you have two levels on top of it. Uh, the menu is basically a lot of seafood. They have octopus, shrimps, lobster, paella. They have so many things. The space is beautiful. It's a beautiful space. Uh, and like I told you before, the drinks are very, very nice. Here I'm leaving you with some pictures of the, of the place. Uh, remember, it has a lot of stairs. So sadly, no allowed for people with, with handicaps. Uh, but uh, the place is, is nice, the view is awesome, like for a sunset it's like one of the best in Havana right now. Also you can uh, check the menu online, I will leave you the description on the, uh, well, I will leave you the menu on the description, sorry, uh, and then let's get to it, let's start by the appetizers. We order as appetizer fish croquettes and tartare. The fish croquettes were well done. It was juicy in the inside and crunchy in the outside, which is how you want your croquettes to be. Uh, but the flavor was uh, light. It was a light flavor. Uh, so I would give this place like a 5.5 uh, because of the flavor, which was, which was very weak. Uh, on the other side, the tartare, oh my God, it was so good. It was so good. It was impressive, truly. Like uh, it had so many onions and still uh, the fish was the main, you know what I mean? Like the flavor of the fish was the main. It was juicy. It was not, there was not any flavor taking over uh, the fish. It was, it was for sure one of the most if you go to this place. As main, we of course order the lobster. The lobster comes with a uh, little rice on the bottom. The rice uh, had little salt, in my personal opinion. Uh, but the lobster was great. The lobster was great. It's grilled, uh, but also you feel under the lobster like uh, coat, uh, and it it improved the flavor so much that this is for sure another must if you go to this place. On the other hand, uh, the octopus was uh, average. It's a very risky recipe since uh, the, the, the sauce on top covers the flavor of the octopus. So for people who are actually looking for the octopus flavor, this may not be the right plate. Uh, but it's not bad, it's just, it's just different person, different taste. For me, uh, it was uh, not, a, not the right uh, option for the octopus, uh, but still something, it's something you need to try by yourself to have your own opinion. Uh, to take away, we ordered the, the paella. I was taking paella to my mother uh, for Valentine's Day, but of course I tried it. And oh my God, I, I regret so much of not ordering this in the place for me uh, because it was so nice. For sure, the, the paella is a must if you go to this place. You need to try. It's very, very good. Okay, we arrive now to the desserts. The price of the desserts is 310 USD ish for almost all of them the mousse was good enough it's just chocolate mousse for those who like chocolate this is the best on the other side the cheesecake was average i would say average down the thing is that the flavor to the cheese was very light so you couldn't actually taste the cheese uh, the texture was awesome it was correct uh, but in general the plate uh, was like for in my opinion the worst that we had that day then the bill comes in this, the receipt, sorry, the receipt come in this kind of uh, box. Uh, they take US dollars, they take euros, they take uh, Canadian dollars. So it's very nice. The price a little high, like uh, when you compare with places around where you eat a little better, I wouldn't say the quality is way less than the places around, but when you compare with the places around, the price is a little over uh, the quality of the food. 
Uh, there are some plates that that are truly worthy of the price, like the lobster was worthy of the price, fully sure. The tartar was worthy of the price, and uh, the paella was worthy of the price. The other dishes were, ah, they were not great. They were normal, uh, so a little expensive. Those others, the drinks are, they are average price. Uh, like medium uh, uh, when you compare with places around uh, and they were they are very good there are very good drinks in this place the bartenders are awesome and well in general uh, what I'm showing this this you're seeing in the back is uh, the hotel they have a hotel like I told you at the beginning of the video uh, that you can book through Airbnb uh, or just go to the desk uh, the place is Havana 5 that's the street that's the number of the house uh, the value of the rental is very nice like for example, this is two rooms, uh, even though the rooms are normal, like they don't have anything fancy or, or they're normal rooms, but then the toilets and the kitchen are fully equipped, uh, is, they look very nice and the prices are not too high. So I think uh, if you're coming to Havana, you can take a look to this. In general, Havana 5 rooftop, the restaurant, uh, was uh, nice. The attention, the waiter and the waitresses were awesome. I love the bartender. Every time I go there, the guy made me feel like I'm home. The kitchen is good. Just a couple of places are like odd for, for me, for my personal opinion. Uh, but in general, it's a good cuisine. Uh, and the place in general is like around an eight or a nine. It's, uh, I, do, I would not say it's a must if you're far, but if you're close, definitely a sunset there will be great. Well, this is all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe and comment below. I leave a lot of things in the comment box too. Bye bye.